My current favorite practice um, is centering prayer. Mm -hmm. And by centering prayer, I simply mean sitting in silence. Um, you might say trying to put on the mind of Christ. Paul would say putting on the mind of Christ is a centering prayer practice. Um, it's really uh, consenting to the presence and action of God. And so I sit in silence for 20 minutes and it, it, it's a surrender, it's a releasing movement. And so as thoughts come into our, our minds, as things come to our attention, and our minds think, and so thoughts always come into our minds. Um, it's just a, a gentle releasing of the thought and going back to my intent, which is simply to be available to God. And so it's a constant sort of um, release, surrender, um, canonic movement, um, emptying ourselves. And um, different from other um, meditation practices, the goal is not um, to have an empty mind, the goal is not bliss, the goal is not um, some ecstatic experience, the goal is simply to be in the presence of God and to allow uh, the divine therapist, if you will, mm -hmm. to um, to do the work that God would do within me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And are there any, I mean, that is definitely a practice that's inspired by by mystics and by some of our ancient and classic prayer practice practitioners. Mm -hmm. Are there any other um, practices that have inspired you in the past or that you have interest, have had interest yeah. in? Uh, when you say mysticism, uh, mysticism to me is simply being fully present in this moment. Um, it is about waking up and noticing. Mm -hmm. um, and so my um, the practice that I, I often use, if I'm able, that is inspired by that waking up, noticing, living right here, right now, in this moment, is kind of a lectio, um, but rather than a lectio with scripture, um, which I also practice, but it's a lectio um, in the midst of creation. And so walking on the beach, um, paddling a kayak, um, simply sitting in nature and doing those steps of lectio, what, you know, what attracts you, what um, shimmers for you, what reaches out and grabs you, um, and then what, in response to that, what are the sensory experiences, the feelings, the images um, that grow up out of, um, out of that noticing, and um, what's the invitation, where's, where's God drawing you? And so, um, I think we're all mystics, um, but I think we all get so engaged in the busyness of life that we lose that sacrament of the present moment, if you will. And so um, really looking and seeing, not just, um, you know, not just sort of being focused on where we're going or what, what has to be done next, but really living into this moment is um, very much a, a mystical, mm -hmm. mystical practice. Thank you. So we want um, each of you to share, I want each of you to share um, what your wish is for seminarians or wishes as they form their spirituality, as they engage in spiritual formation here as seminarians. So as you think about that, once you're ready, feel free to look in the camera and if you can start with something similar to my wish for you is um, any thoughts that you have, advice, insights that you want to share with them as they pursue God, as they study about God. My wish for you, seminarians, is that you integrate information with formation. You're in a place that is filled with information. There's more, far more information than you can ever take in. Um, but our spiritual journey is about more than information. Um, it's also about formation, about, as I said in that centering prayer practice, about being open to um, the loving work of God, the transformational work of and so by integrating information with formation, um, I think that's what produces transformation. Our, our knowledge in our head um, is very important, but it doesn't really change the core of our being. It doesn't make us um, agents of love in the world, which is, I think, who we're called to be. And so my wish for you, seminarians, would be that um, you have a place of integrating head and heart of um, body and mind and spirit intentionally so that you grow more and more into the person that God has called and created you to be, which is a person um, created in love, for love. Um, and so the invitation really is to be love in this world. Mm 